Suddenly, it started to rain in torrents and a peal of thunder broke. Nobunaga shouted, Providential help! We'll absolutely win! Go to Okehazama! The only target is Yoshimoto's life! His army also shouted excitedly with his speech. Nobunaga and his army could approach Yoshimoto and his army without being noticed by them because of the heavy thunderstorm. Yoshimoto's army had already got drunk and eventually got separated toward the shade of a tree to get out of the rain. Nobunaga and his army made the surprise attack on Yoshimoto and his army. They were caught off guard and many of them were killed without any resistance. Yoshimoto fought hard to the very end, but he was finally killed as well. His army lost their supreme leader and those who survived ran away to their province. Nobunaga won the Okehazama battle with his clever tactics which was well planned based on his experiences in his youth. He knew the terrain, collected a lot of information, and had a lot of good friends. His name became widely known throughout Japan with the great victory at Okehazama. After the Okehazama battle, he dedicated himself to ending the Warring States period and unifying Japan. Before this presentation's over, I'd like to ask you a question. Who was awarded the first prize of the Distinguished Service at Okehazama? Shinsuke, who killed Yoshimoto? No, the answer is Masatsuna, the informant of whereabouts of Yoshimoto which means that Nobunaga had been attaching greater importance to information strategy more than 400 years ago. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll talk about the other battle in which he adopted the unconventional tactics. Look forward to it. I hope to see you again soon.